Probably going to be another short episode, but it's the first like 70 plus degree day we've had this year. And uh, I'm outside drinking some beer and kind of playing with some models. Uh, this is just a little nomad. I just recently finished up. Nothing crazy. But uh, what I'm working on is this Corvette. I've already kind of mocked up, got it slammed down to the ground. Dropping in a uh, Arden headed flathead Ford V8. Be mad if you want. But uh, what I want to play with is this color change in paint this used to come in like a three-stage kit and now it's just a single can but they uh, recommend that you do a black base coat and uh, I'm just kind of serious of how, uh, serious just kind of curious of how it's gonna work so I'm gonna shoot some primer on here some black on here and we'll get that color shift in paint on here see what she does all right so just wiped it down with some tack cloth wash my hands because I was handling it Let's uh, get some primer on here. It's a little bit windy, but we'll make do. Might have to move it out of the wind a little bit. But let's hit it with a light coat. Hit it with a little bit heavier coat, let that dry. Hit it with some black. Hit it with that color shift. All right, let's get some black on here. And again, just kind of another quick light coat. It's actually a little bit heavier than I would normally go my first coat. But let that set up. Hit it with another coat. All right, so we got our black on there. In the sun, it actually kind of looks like it's like crinkled or bubbled. I promise it's not. It's actually uh, surprisingly smooth. But uh, let this set up. I'm gonna hit it with that color change paint. Let's see what she does. All right, ladies and gents, here we go. In case you're curious of what this is. Testers, color shift, green and copper. This paint's just barely tacky, so uh, Go ahead and hit her. Oh, that already looks cool. Already looks cool, just that long coat. Of course, I ain't got no white. more coats on here and put it in the sun and I got a good view of it. Boy, check it out. And it's still drying. We'll let it set up and we'll knock it back up. But check that out. We got some purple, some green, some copper coming out in there. Actually turned out really good. I'm happy with that. Let that set up. Maybe do one more coat, if anything. And uh, knock it up. See what this bitch looks like. Man, I wish my camera wasn't broke. Look how green it is all the way back here. It's nice, heavy green. Into that purple. Ooh. Ooh. Hee hee. Yeah. Good dope, right? Let's smack it on this chassis. And there we go, guys. Again, this is kind of mocked up and just sitting here. But uh, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I know it's kind of blasphemous to put a, uh, a Ford engine, especially in a Corvette, that flat head with the Arden Hemi heads and those triple Webers look super dope sitting in there. And it kind of just fits the whole theme of the car. And I'm happy where it's going. I got to blow it apart. It was in a different model before. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm real happy with the way that it's turned out. If you guys want to see some more model stuff, just comment. I'm normally working on, like, 
one or 15 of these damn things. But uh, that's about it. And that's it, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Sorry, it's another video without the F100. And I didn't do a very good job getting good shots of doing that diesel filter on the truck. Uh, it was just rainy. It was just, it was just all around bad. And then I was just trying to kick something out. And that was something that super needed done because it was leaking fuel like crazy. But uh, I said, if you guys want to see more model stuff, let me know. I'm always working on something. And uh, hopefully within the next month or so, I'll get back to wrenching on the F100. Uh, I do have an electric fan for it now and the radiator. So we'll get that going, do cam break in. And then we're down to rear end rebuild. In theory, oh, and front springs. And then I don't drive that motherfucker. So tune in. Deuces.